Top. So, so you made them, you cut them at 10 foot? Yeah, I cut them at 10 foot, then I bend the 18 inch thing so they can fit right here, but I'm going to hang them up and then I'm going to have all the space at the top so that if at the last minute somebody says, hey, make it a little bit bigger right here, right there, then I still got the space and I don't have to overlap or do nothing and waste more rebar or nothing like that. So I'm always like, you know, leaving myself an out or leaving myself some room for air, you know? All right, ladies and gentlemen, another video here. We're gonna show you guys how we go about uh, installing the back of the concrete retaining wall. You, and this includes us installing our stakes, our kickers, two by 12s, the vertical rebar, and also we're gonna show a little pour of the gray beam as well installing the rebar for the gray beam. I don't think I have a video out showing us installing the rebar for the gray beam. So check it out. Any questions, any comments, leave those down below. I am making a longer video for this to kind of show us from the beginning to the end on what it takes to build a concrete retaining wall. I'm also working on a YouTube membership. I get probably five or six phone calls a week asking questions I don't mind asking, but I'm gonna put something together which is gonna go in detail on what it takes to build these con uh, concrete retaining walls. That is a membership service. Haven't set my price yet, but it's probably gonna be $9.99 so I really get everything up and running. And then um, we'll see where the price goes. It's gonna be a lot of great content. My contracts, my rebar calculator, my retaining wall calculator, and so forth. So all you do it yourself is be on the lookout. All you contractors who want to get into building these concrete retaining walls, also be on the lookout. Appreciate you guys. Cool to ask for help. Hang around people that's positive. Wake up with good intentions. Everything's gonna be all right. Let's get back to the video.
one of these is where they're gonna have, where we're gonna have what's it called, uh, the, the, the what's it called on the bottom is five inches on center. So every other one. Nah, five inches on. No, I'm talking about for this. Yeah, for this is ten inches. The other what's it called? Because it's really supposed to be twelve. But why do twelve won't be? They shouldn't match up with the bottom. You know what I mean? Because the, the the stirrups are five inches on center. So that means that every ten inches, I'll be able to sneak one to put and, and and hold it onto the thing instead Make of it. having instead of having them kind of back up every two inches. You know what I mean? Yeah. So it, it, and and now that we went up higher and we made the footing bigger, it's actually gonna tie in, because this is only supposed to be 18 inches. 18 inches, right? you now got it two, two feet. Two feet to be able to accommodate the fact that, you know, yeah. 